Or no, we're not actually going anywhere. One of my favorite things to do in the world is to get dressed up and stay at home. Gus, not so much. He hates his Santa hat, but he looks so cute in it. He's so annoyed with me right now. Welcome back to episode seven of Vlogmas in New York. Gus isn't really feeling this hat, so we're scrapping it. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing a list of surprising stores that sell amazing dog clothing, also 20 outfits for their humans to match with them. If you haven't noticed, one of the things that I love most is twinning with Gus. I think it's because I always wanted a twin growing up, but I never have one. So this is the closest thing to that. I hope you enjoy this vlog. First store on my list is Bed Bath & Beyond. And yeah, you heard me correctly, Bed Bath & Beyond. They surprisingly sell amazing dog sweaters. Got this one in red. We also have this cream colored one. These are a complete steal. I think I purchased these for Black Friday two years ago for a total of $7 for the two of them. They are such great quality. I mean, just look at that. And these have held up so well over the years. Because I'm obsessed with 20 with us, I got this ivory sweater dress from H&M. The best dog and mom twinning duo, full stop. Next up, we have H&M. I love their dog sweaters. Look how cute this Christmas one is. This is so cute. Every single year, they have a fairly large collection of holiday sweaters for Gus. <laughs> for dogs. I only think about Gus. Just look how cute this sweater is. We got this one again maybe two years ago, but quality is so high. It lasted really well. Look at this. Of course, Gus looks adorable. He looks adorable in anything, but especially adorable in sweaters. Another amazing holiday sweater from H&M. Just look at Gus, look how happy he is. He feels so confident because he looks like a million bucks. I feel great because my dog looks like a million bucks. So it's a win, win, win. FYI, Gus wears a medium in H&M sweaters and he is 31.2 pounds. So he doesn't look when I add the point to. Let's just round down. He's 31 pounds. Most of it is just all fluff. This is probably my favorite holiday sweater from H&M. I don't really like wearing colors, but I can get over it for the holidays. But this one is just the perfect holiday sweater because it is a neutral beige color with accents of red, but it's not overwhelming. And I have this weird obsession with reindeer. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how adorable he is. Oh my gosh, Gussie. It's not fair how cute you are. It's not fair. In the spirit of twinning, I got this sweater that somewhat matches Gus's. I mean, it's not really, but it's like the same color family, so it's close enough. Mine is not holiday inspired because like I said, I don't really like holiday clothing. I didn't get much bang for my buck from that, but I really love this sweater that it has an exposed shoulder so you can see my clavicle is popping. It's from Aster, the label. I'm obsessed. I have a few sweaters from them. These are really high quality and these just really go well with many outfits for fall and winter. Probably one of my favorite brands is For Love and Lemons. I absolutely love these leather shorts. Love wearing in the fall and winter with tights and booties and a chunky sweater. Gus is getting a little antsy because I'm not paying attention to him. All right, Bubba, I'm coming back to you right now. All right, back to Gus. This is actually our first matching outfit from the same store. My slouchy sweater is from H&M and so is Gus's turtleneck sweater. And these actually are matching sweaters. So adorable. Even Gus doesn't realize that we're not actually going outside. Bubba, we're not actually going outside. We're just taking photos, boo-boo. We're just shooting content. We're not actually going on a walk right now. Come on. Come on, Bubba. Next up, we have Old Navy. I actually have matching leggings, but for the life of me, I cannot find them, and I'm not sure if they accidentally got discarded in our move, but for now, you're just gonna have to settle for these photos from a few years ago. They're also really high-quality sweaters. They're very soft, <laughs> and Gus loves it, and these are really great because they have this pattern and print and others, and you can get them for your whole family. These are extremely affordable option as well. I wanna say that I think I may have gotten these for under $5 as well. We also got this sweater in this blue and green checkered print. Really great for the holidays, but you can honestly probably get away wearing these prints and patterns throughout the year. Next up on our list is American Eagle. This is another actual matching set. Sorry, mine's a little ruffled right now. Probably can't really tell, but it is a white and tan tie-dye. Again, if I'm gonna do anything like tie-dye or holiday colors, it has to be very muted and neutral color. This has a matching hoodie. It's a really cute set. This is definitely gonna be another 3 a.m. drop for this vlog. I love rewatching my vlogs. I love rewatching my stories when I reshare my vlogs on Instagram stories. I just love my content. Am I a narcissist? Yes, 1000%. I've already admitted to this. I can't continue to do this 
when I have to get blocked out every single day for 25 days. Where were we? Are you ready for it? This is my favorite outfit I think that he has ever. I'm obsessed with this Sherpa beanie and this Sherpa hoodie. If you saw yesterday's vlog, this is a long Sherpa coat that I got from Uniqlo yesterday. I got it in three colors. I got it in black, beige, and this off-white color. And I am wearing my Mark and Graham monogram beanie obsessed with this. I can't really explain it, but I really love things that are customized and personalized. It's super cute. I got this again two years ago or three years ago. I feel like I don't go shopping enough. It's like, probably good that I don't go shopping enough. I did check to make sure that they have something that's very similar to the one that I got in stock right now. So as with yesterday, I'm going to be linking everything that you are seeing in this video or dupes that are pretty comparable. This one does not match Gus's outfit at all. But since I'm already dressed up, I may as well put this one on. All right, Baba, you deserve some treaties. Come on, come on. Good boy, good boy. Last look, we have a faux leather jacket from Ripley and Rue. Just hit my head into my lap. Ow. This wears a 2XL in this. I'm wearing this leather jacket that I got from ASOS a few years ago. It's from River Island. I think it's because I purchase really good quality clothing that I don't really need to go shopping very often. Listen to my recommendations. These velvet leggings from Spanx are one of my favorites. I swear by Spanx leggings. These are the best. As I said before, they really suck everything in and they go with everything. And I am wearing a bodysuit from H&M. These are my favorite boots. My Doc Martens. Not the ones that don't have the annoying yellow thread. I don't want any colors. I got the ones that are just black on black on black and I absolutely love these. Another reason why I haven't gone shopping for myself for clothing very often is because all my money or a large portion of it goes to Gustavo. These are just his sweaters that I bring out in the fall and the winter. This does not include the drawers and boxes and cabinets full of dog bandanas that he also owns because my section of the closet, pretty pathetic. Oops, come on, light. What's going on here? Still in here. Rude. These are some things that I didn't show. This is a longer coat from H&M. This is a velour. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. We're gonna cut this. I can go back through all of these things later on if you so desire, but I think this gives you a fair representation of who runs the show and where a large portion of my money goes. I hope you guys enjoy that. I will be in... Excuse? What, what, I'm trying to record Bubba. No. Hello, can I help you? <sighs> what, what are you signing at me for? I just gave you some treats to hold you over until I'm done. I'm wrapping up. Give me two seconds, okay? I hope you guys enjoy that. I will be including information for all of the stores and to the extent that any of the items that we are wearing are still available. I will make sure to link that in the video's description. In addition to that, I'm going to be sharing a few other stores that I was not able to include in today's vlog, but that I have either bought from myself or I have on my wish list. And I'm gonna go through and pick at least one item that I would get for Gus and or myself if I had a budget to get things this holiday season. Now it's time to make dinner. I need to decide which one of my Saqqara options I'm gonna have. I'm probably gonna go with the one that is the least aesthetic just so that I can save this one for tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog is going to be my Black Friday haul featuring my shopping guide for FSC eligible items. This is something that a lot of people have seemed to be really interested in. I've noticed that on TikTok, a lot of my followers are engaging with the content that I posted on FSC store over a year ago. So I'm hoping you guys find it really informative. And if I don't actually get around to filming that tomorrow, I'm gonna give myself some options. So it may turn into a what I eat in the day vlogs. It'll be a surprise, keep it interesting. And until tomorrow, go binge all the rest of my shorts and all of the earlier episodes and Vlogmas, and I will see you tomorrow. Coming next on the Corporate Creator Vlogmas Christmas special. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to Photoshop popcorn in here. This is a lot worse than I thought. I have to film this vlog tomorrow. This won't make it through the week.